Okay, Kala, it's time. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> Sky heard me filming, so now they're fighting over who gets the limelight. Hey, Kiko, stop slapping her. Stop slapping Sky. <laughs> We're actually leaving tomorrow for the first road trip in over a year that we've taken, and the dogs are coming with us. We gave Sky a bath last week, and it's Kiko's turn. And this butt, you guys, it's been about six months since her last haircut, so you are overdue, Kiko. Just a little bit of fur out of Kukua's butt today. Somehow Kakoa always finds a way to sneak herself up into the passenger seat whenever I'm driving her alone. But we are at the dog wash. I'm gonna give her just a quick wash because I know she's gonna get really dirty while we're gone and need another bath. So this one's just gonna be to kind of get her undercoat out. Good girl. Paolo, I'm gonna take this and this and give you a princess. You guys wanna go somewhere? I thought I had a suitcase for the dogs, but since it's such a short trip, I'm gonna just pack the dogs in half of my suitcase and then pack my clothes in the other half of the suitcase. So we are headed to Idaho tomorrow, which is where our friends live. If you've seen some of our older vlogs, we travel there a lot during the summer and they have a bunch of land and farm animals and a bunch of dogs. So the dogs love going there. We love taking them there. So I'm kind of packing a little bit light because we're not going as long as we normally go. Usually we'll go for like a week and we're only gonna be there for five days and two of those days are travel days. So technically we will be there three days and if I forget anything, they have a bunch of dogs, I'm sure they'll have stuff. And then I also put together this little grab and go basket for in the back seat of the car, any of the things that we might need during the road trip. So towels, blanket to sit on during our charging stops, um, doggy bags, of course, we always seem to forget these, uh, medical kit for dogs, wet ones for pets, and then food and water. Exhausting, huh, Sky? You're just gonna sleep on the whole road trip tomorrow. I already know it. This video is actually sponsored by Your Fuzzy, which is a website that gives you 24 seven access to veterinary professionals. Kakoa actually gave us a little bit of scare the other day. She kept rubbing her eye and when we looked at it, it was super swollen. And of course we started to freak out because we had no idea what had happened and it was the weekend. So our regular vet was closed. But luckily I went on to Your Fuzzy on a live chat with a veterinary expert. I was able to send her pictures and do an exam over the chat and she advised us to give her a Benadryl which worked it the swelling went down within 30 minutes which so lucky it was just something minor but just the peace of mind of having a vet right at your fingertips especially when we're traveling and we're away from home it's just a huge peace of mind so if you want to try your fuzzy they are giving all of you guys a seven day free trial if you go to yourfuzzy.com slash husky fam to sign up today that's a seven day free trial at y-o-u-r-f-u-z-z-y.com slash husky fam and you also get access to exclusive member discounts on pet meds supplements and food <laughs> We are leaving. We're just finishing up packing. We actually, both Kenny and I did laundry this morning because we didn't finish packing. Um, but we are loading up the car. I could hardly sleep last night because I'm so excited. And the dogs are going crazy because they know we are going somewhere. You guys, stop fighting. You both get a window seat. Are okay, you ready for this road trip? Road trip. I can't keep my heart from racing. Cloud nine, the view's amazing. Oh, look how far we made it together. We just
just pulled up to the supercharger in Winnemucca and I guess they're doing construction or something at the in front of the superchargers. So we're kind of freaking out because we barely made it here. We have like 20% left on the battery and there are like no other superchargers close to here. So we're gonna have to try and figure out what to do or we might be stuck here. I'm gonna get the dogs out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so we tried the Walmart charger, what that was down the street. It's just a regular charger for electric cars, and we have an adapter for the Tesla, but for some reason the adapter doesn't fit on that specific charger. So we are kind of stranded right now because the closest Tesla charger is, I think, 107 miles away, and we only have 70 miles left on the battery. He was able to squeeze in. Hopefully he plugged it in. Did you, did you plug it in? <laughs> All right, we're fully charged. Took about an hour, but we are about to get back on the road. Here's a closer look at the construction going on in front of the chargers. The best part of getting older is I'll always get to hold you. This angel on my shoulders here forever. The dogs know we're getting close. This guy's getting sky. Stay back there. This guy's getting really antsy. We keep it so freezing in this car. It's it was like 80 degrees outside today, and I have been bundled up in a blanket because it's so cold in here. We're also just nearly making it with 12%. Timmy, Timmy. Oh. 